In a recent letter to shareholders, Alex Karp suggested Palantir's TAM is unlimited. What do you think Karp means by this? Why do I think that Karp believes that Palantir's total addressable market or TAM is unlimited? It's because they have the opportunity to create software from scratch. And so one of the key things that I've experienced is through Foundry specifically. Now I know that there's Constellation and Edge AI and all these other opportunities that they're creating and that are gonna be helping specific industries help progress their strategies alone. But the reason why I think the total addressable market's unlimited is because they have the opportunity to create or give you Foundry and then with that, create custom applications that go on top of it. The key thing that I think a lot of people don't recognize is it's not like a Microsoft Excel where they just say, here's Microsoft Excel Go. It's the opportunity to use a product where they can then shape and mold the software that you use. So if you work with them where they sit with you and say, what are the biggest problems that you're experiencing in the healthcare space or the finance space or the city planning space or the military space. They could literally create any application that you want, right? Customized applications. And the way that I like to experience it is, or at least explain it is, we got Foundry in its infancy. And we had Quiver, we had, you know, just the normal Fusion workbooks and, and things of the like that allow you to view time series data, filter data. But now the 20 other applications that are specific to our business and that's specific to oil and gas entirely have been built and that we have access to that utilizes Foundry as its underlying operating system. So you could then go to other oil and gas companies and say, hey, look at these other 20 applications that we built utilizing you know, upstream oil and gas sort of technologies. Now you have the opportunity to do the same thing in healthcare space where you go not only to sell Foundry, but then you build custom applications because this healthcare company works with you collaboratively and says, this is the problem we're having. And Palantir's like, oh, we can fix that. That's just data science, right? So that is why the total addressable market is unlimited because it's not just trying to sell Excel to everybody. It's trying to create custom applications that Palantir can help with their data scientists get through. And I don't think people understand wholly why, you know, they're not, trying to run before they walk. It's because they wanted to get into each individual industry first, where when they DPO'd, they only had like 13 or 14 industries. Now they've grown to over, you know, this is a year or two old now, over 40 industries, probably even more so now, where they've been able to create these custom applications. And so with that, now you're, you're golden. Now you can kind of run, you can get your sales folks up and help create because now you have these custom applications that you can upsell to people, not just try to sell Foundry, but they upscale or they, um, they upsold applications as well. And not only that, but you can say, well, what problems are you guys having in finance or what cryptocurrency problem are you guys trying to solve? Or how are you trying to, to build and what's the biggest pinch point you have in building buildings? And they can help create that software that helps you with that.